We have here the three most buzzed about smartphones on the market. We're gonna talk about their three cameras and which one I still think you should buy. One of the big things that you can debate about these smartphones is which has the best camera, the Galaxy S8, the Google Pixel, and the iPhone 7. Let's talk about how it does in mixed light. When there's really bright lights in a scene and shadows in a scene, you want your camera to get all of that detail. You don't want big splotches of white or dark splotches of black. This was where the S8 sort of most excelled. The iPhone and the Pixel produced pretty good shots, but it didn't look as nice and natural as what the S8 produced. This was really the strongest case for the S8. To test how all these smartphones do on sharpness, I took a picture out across the city and I wanted to see how sharp things far away would look. These are all really sharp cameras. You know, the Pixel, we'll see basically all the detail you can want. The iPhone similarly gets tons of detail. But all of that said, the Samsung is still producing the sharpest images of anyone out there right now. Let's talk about low light. So the iPhone, has never really been as good as any of these Android cameras in a really dark setting. I prefer the S8 in that situation because you can get the nicest possible picture, but uh, th there's a strong case to make for the Pixel here. You wanna know how well these cameras are gonna do indoors. So I took all these cameras to, uh, to a stairwell where we have bright light coming in, we have some color going on. To me, the quality of the picture the S8 is gonna produce in an indoor situation looks better than any other camera on the market. Uh, the Pixel is also very good in this situation, but again, the Pixel doesn't always get color exactly right. The iPhone actually produces really nice color. You, you could argue that this is what the iPhone's best at, is sort of soft tones that are almost like film, but it doesn't always make the best decision, which is gonna be a problem uh, in an indoor lighting situation. And finally, you want the autofocus system to work. You want that when you tap on the screen, uh, it sees what you're talking about and you know gets the focus right and takes a picture of that. And so ultimately, that's gonna be the biggest difference between the Galaxy phones and any other phone we're talking about today, where, where the S8, you point it at something and bam, it's gonna get the focus immediately. The iPhone doesn't have that and it'll just sort of slide in and out of focus in a way that's really frustrating. It can make you miss a shot. The Pixel is better than the iPhone when it comes to autofocus, but it's still not as fast as the uh, Galaxy. So an important thing to recognize here is we're talking about small differences between these phones. In general, if you own an iPhone 7, even if you own a Galaxy S7, the camera alone is not gonna be worth the upgrade. Just about all smartphones are getting about as good as a single smartphone camera is ever gonna get. But again, in the endless battle to produce the best camera on a smartphone, the Galaxy S8 is the winner.